So when you think of Porter Airlines, of course, you think of downtown Toronto. You think of the Island Airport. That's where the airline has been operating turboprops for many, many years. Now things are changing. Porter has these brand new jets and they're going to start flying out of here, Pearson Airport. Is it worth the drive to YYZ? Come flying with me. Let's find out. The sound of success for Porter, its first ever jet takeoff. The Toronto-based airline has been flying turboprop planes out of the downtown Billy Bishop Airport for years. They still will, but the company always wanted to expand into jet service, and now it is, but not out of the island. Instead, it's flying brand new Brazilian-made Embraer jets out of Pearson International. Porter is taking delivery of 50 of the planes with plans to fly them first to Canadian destinations like Montreal and Vancouver, and later in the year into the United States, eventually going to the Caribbean. The entire platform is about disrupting economy travel. There's long been a lot of dissatisfaction with economy travel in Canada and the U.S., and Porter will be making economy travel enjoyable for everyone and really elevating the economy experience. There's 132 total seats on the plane. There's no traditional first class, but the first four rows are branded Porter Reserve. That's where I am. It has extra leg room. The leg room, actually pretty ample, but Porter hopes to differentiate themselves on these jets with service, real glassware, and a full meal. I had the what did you have? Bowl. I had the salmon bowl as well, salmon poke. And, yeah. and the difference is that we offer that now to the entire economy cabin. Now, it depends on the fear. You can purchase it. You can also have it included, but but there's not a separate, separate uh, offering for the front of the aircraft and the back. The same thing that is available to our Porter Reserve customers is available to our Porter Classic customers, and that's a you big. You just got to pay extra for it. Exactly. There's a lot of new airlines entering the market lately. Names like Lynx and Flair, they're ultra low cost. Porter's clearly trying not to be that though. Uh, they're trying to be more luxe. During this demonstration flight, I noticed things like padded seats, power ports at every seat, and free Wi-Fi for all passengers. There's no middle seats throughout our entire fleet. There is free booze. Complimentary beer and wine served in real glassware. And what about baggage handling? Everyone's got trouble with baggage these days. And do I have to pay for bags here? Depends on the fare type. So we do have some uh, basic fares that really are a la carte, whereas our regular fare classes do include, of course, bags. What is the price uh, generally? I know everything's dynamic with airline pricing, but what is the cost to fly in these jets? So we do have introductory fares right now for our Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton uh, launch markets. For instance, Toronto, Vancouver, you can still buy a round trip today for $250. So what did I think? Well, it was very comfortable, the seat was nice, the service was good and the food was tasty. I guess the question is, will passengers be willing to come here to Pearson Airport to try out the Porter Jet experience? The first flight takes to the air February 1st. At Pearson Airport, Richard Southern, City News.